Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Ashen Castle. Today, we're having a look at a, well, at a cocky game. And of course, who else to look at than Chovy when it comes to this stuff? Okay, so there is a reason why people say, you know, Corky, relatively uh, boring champion. However, I'm going to promise you, the way Chovy plays Corky, I, I don't know. I can't find it. I can't find it that boring. All right, we look at Corky, right? And we look at what Corky wants to do, and uh, we immediately have to realize that um, this is one of those champions that people like Chovy, um, people that also have the ability, like, for example, Nemesis, to play these matchups that are designed to go even, or maybe slightly losing early. And because of their great micro, they can build advantages. Same thing with Aurelian Soul. That's why Chovy is so good at champions like Aurelian Soul as well. Is they they understand laning so well that they have the ability to build these advantages. Basically, what what seems to mere mortals out of thin air, right? Um, so they built these advantages in an Oriana versus Corkilan, in an Oriana versus. Um, Aurelian Soul Lane, where then in other games you see that, you know, most of the time Aurelian Soul falls a little bit behind. Not with Corky, or not with Chovy. So, we're gonna look at this, and if you can, if you look at the uh, performance, we're gonna jump into the game in a second, but I think this is really relevant, right? Is, uh, if you look at it, his gold per minute is 491, very important metric for Corky, because Corky is kind of this, this little nuke, right? Is, um... Corky is charging up, charging up, charging up, and then eventually gets to those certain timings. And if he, whenever he has the package timing, it's very important that he has the items that allow him to use that package much, much more aggressively, much more effectively than uh, if he was a little bit behind. So if you look at, this is his comparison to any other master player. And you will see, kills and assist. Not very high. However, his uh, kill KP is good, which means he is part of the team fights where it matters. But look at his creeps per minute. Look at it in solo queue. This, this is solo queue. This is not in pro games. Um, that's crazy. In solo queue, having this these CS per minute, I mean that's crazy. Um, on the downside, of course, that means that also you're uh, kind of probably sacrificing some team fights for that but um absolutely impressive so we're gonna jump into one of corky one of one of chovy's corky games and we're gonna see how the man makes exactly how he makes that magic happen yep thank you to lol wreck for this replay this is about a month old so it is a previous patch. It is patch 14.7, however. So far, not too much has changed on Corky. Of course, we're going to be starting out with a first strike page here. This is Chovy on the Corky. Jumping into the Korean server, of course. Not on the Chinese server at that point. Then he will be playing against a challenger Oriana. You have in the games, pays on AD carry as well. Azure, who is on Europe, right? Um, he's a European player. Seems like they were boot camping over there. Definitely respectable. Selvi also says something, but I don't know. I don't know who that is. Sorry. I mean, I as as if any pro would give a if I recognize him or not. Like <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so Corky starting out pushing the lane. Um, that is also very important here already, right? Look at the aggression, and this is what I mean by oh, it's so boring to watch Corky. That I mean, like this, what, what, like this is so okay. Um, Corky's E is extremely strong now Corky will be reworked in just a little bit um and 
probably his E will stay as strong. Um, but not in the same way. So right now, Corky, Corky's E very strong. Very good trading to a very strong trades here back from the Oriana. Oriana definitely standing her ground. Biscuits available for both. Now Corky also popping those potions on the Korean server. Of course, you wanna you wanna be staying top up. Okay, we're trying to dodge. I did we did we dodge this is actually important. I don't think we did dodge the Q the W here, huh? I think that's an auto attack that procs it. So we did dodge it. That's very important for the economy. Good trade. Trading the Valkyrie here for the W. Bit scary to do that with a pushing wave to use the Valkyrie this aggressively. aggressively. If he was playing into a Jarvan uh, that was off map right now, that would be a different story. But right now, Poppy showed herself in the bot lane already. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, they were looking there. Having a little fun. And uh, mate, I, this is probably Addy. <laughs> uh, made the top lane TP here. And you can see the dominance here out of out of uh, Chovy. Already, right, as he's pushing in the way. Solid CSing, of course, right? In classic Chovy manner, he just doesn't miss minions. And then just goes... Mega aggressive on you. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. So now we have a little bit of a mana mana issue. I, I wonder how we deal with that. Okay, we just we just win the trades. Oriana just opted into a trade there. A little bit too early. So we just win lane, I guess. It is what it is. You can see very aggressive play pattern here, right? Very, very aggressive. And um, definitely not just sitting back, neutralizing the lane. How you see so many cockies play. No, he's going balls to the wall. Very aggressive using that trade pattern. Look at the CS numbers. Oriana not having a good time. Oriana will be stacking up that tier. Gives her quite a bit of scaling. But that already means that Corky has the ability here to outspeed her. And Corky also gets that tier. However, that one will be a little bit... Um... Oh, beautiful Valkyrie here as Corky will be guarding that. Even fully knowing that enemy jungler might be in that bush here. Will be guarding that. You see the, po you see the Orianna movement that already tells you what the hell is going on. And we say, okay, get the back top lane, Eddie. I don't know, dude. I don't know if this is Eddie, but... <laughs> um, definitely seems like Eddie with how much he's been gone from lane, huh? 27, 32. Nah, actually, Eddie would be at 12 CS here. It is what it is. And would have dived bot lane three times already. All right, so... So far, of course, smashing performance very good. 7 seven CS lead at this early of a time is ridiculously good. As we're going to shove in another wave. And start attacking the place. Okay, we see where Poppy is. Was that a question mark? That was a question mark from Galio? That is funny. <clears throat> yeah. Oriana missing from mid, huh? You see here, right? Rihanna Challenger, 923 LP. Definitely nothing to uh, laugh at, you know? This guy, this guy definitely knows. This guy would smash us all into the wall. But not Chovy. Jesus Christ. Don't look Chovy CS. I mean, so Chovy CS isn't even that crazy in comparison to what, uh, what he would do in pro games recently. Nah, no way that we live. Okay, beautiful job here. Oriana finds that ultimate. The Poppy finds that W to stop the Valkyrie. And I can't help but notice that Cork, that that uh, he could have definitely played that a little bit differently. Could have flashed that. We'll hold the flash. And is on his way back to lane. So, Corky will be going back to AD carry role. That's why I'm making this video. 
It's because, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about Chovy because MSI right now is coming out. And I think this is a really good timing to do that. Um, just so we can uh, create a bit of a told you so if that guy ends up winning MSI because he is an absolute demon right now. This is definitely his best form that he's been in. Um, we will see how exactly how he will fare against all these other lanes, but I... Yeah. Um, the other player that usually would be considered such a good laning player would be someone like Knight. And... Um, Humanoid, although being able to hold his own against him for sure, definitely did not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Chovster. And I presume that Chovy not even really prepared so much for that, right? Very famously, of course, Chovy more prepared to deal with Faker and Knight. Actually put research into it in comparison to what uh, we have with someone like the, the European players, like Humanoid. Probably doesn't really care. And like you, you would think they do, right? You're like, nah, Ash. They're, they're they're pro players. Like they they prepare for every matchup. Nah, dude, the Koreans are. They don't respect the uh, European players that much. At least from what I from what I understand, right? Doesn't seem to be uh. Doesn't se seem to be that much of a. Topic for them. Which of course, uh, you know, can can be of advantage for us pretty good run so far all of the uh, these underdog teams still losing but definitely better showings out of Fnatic here as well definitely not bad PSG of course surprising us all with that 3-2 that, that could have absolutely been a 3-1 for PSG by the way I think if um, better mid laner I think it's a 3-1 I, as, as hard as that sounds, but um, yeah, better mid laner, it's a 3-1. So yeah, Chovy on PSG, 3-1. BLG, that's very impressive, very impressive by uh, by Betty and I don't know what his support's name is. Excuse me, but PSG roster. I still don't understand what, what the hell is going on with PSG, like who, who PSG is, what league they're in, like I... <laughs> I, I don't understand it. I, I it's it's probably the just a classic like I'm I have nothing to do with French, but French slapped their logo on it and they're like, oh they're French. See? You know, it's it's, it's like the same thing with uh with like football players and whatever, right? They they, they come from oppressed regions, but then the second they're they're winning anything, oh the French, they're French, oh it's so great to see all these French people Oh, they're doing such a good job for the country. And you're like, what the fuck, bro? What are you doing, man? Until uh, until a while ago. Okay, very big team fight here erupting. Okay, let's see. So, Corky, very careful. Trading it out here a little bit. Poking that Oriana, but he's holding himself in the ability to deal more damage whenever necessary, right? But charging up those rockets... And that is going to be a trade here. Double kill goes over to Pays. Not what you want to see. You can see here, right? Chovy being a little reserved. He's definitely not diving head in. He's using his ultimates. He's doing his damage. But he's not inting away his lead here. So he is now, in comparison to Oriana, he's now ready to move back into the mid lane. And uh, continue taking plates. Very big gold advantage here already. Don't let the looks deceive you, right? This this lane looks a little even, but it is not even at all. This is very scary as Chovy will stay on lane. With quite a bit of gold here on pocket, he will stay in the game. Not recall as we are moving back, trying to help out our bot lane here. Massive damage coming out of the Chovster here. The ultimate will connect, but it is not quite enough to take down the Ash. Now Zeri left at 2 HP as we're looking for pace here. 
Oriana with that secure. And that is going to be Zeri. <laughs> Zeri trying to go for the greed there. Hoping that she can get the huge shutdown bounty onto the um, Varus. If, if she gets that, that is absolutely worth it. But she doesn't get it. That is even more money over to the Varus. The double A thing, Varus. The double A thing. That was a memo. Ah, Aatrox. Aatrox quotes are just the best, aren't they? Okay, so surely now we recall as we are out of mana. This is something that you'll find with these players like Chovy, right? Now that he's broken the 10 CS per minute. Um, they stay on the wave. They, they stay on the map and they catch other waves. And um, they preserve their resources, farm it up, and still have a lot of impact. Very impressive to me. To me, as someone who uh, basically uses all his mana on one wave as Irelia. This is definitely something that I need to get better at. And um, even if you look at players like Irel King, he doesn't have that showy mentality. He's more aggressive, goes for the kills, goes for the plays. Okay. That's going to be a package away from the Ash Arrow. The Ash Arrow still lands. The Galley Ultimate comes out. Beautiful bait here. Onto the three man. Oh, beautiful Q here out of our top lane, Araji. But it's not going to be enough as the red team here chases down Pace, looking to collect that shutdown. And Pace will find another kill. Everyone is so low. Viego gets that Heartbreaker, and that is a kill onto the Viego. Big shutdown. Viego will take that beautiful backwards E here out of the Galio to catch the Ash. As Ash will be chased down here. Viego is on the bot side though, so this one's not happening. Chovy unfortunately goes down there in that fight. You see the Valkyrie though. The package, right? Giving him that safety. as a teleport onto the bot lane. He will collect another plate. This is classic Chovy maneuvering. His AD carry will be moving into the mid lane here. This is something that is actually like that as well. Will happen quite a bit here with um, Gen G. Is very, very fast and creative rotations. To, to, to like get the most out of the map when it comes to money. That is how Gen G will look like they're behind. Until you realize that they're actually not behind in gold. It's very weird. They, um, yeah, but they're very good at dealing with that. Okay. Oh, this is pretty rough here, though. Th this costs Koki quite a bit because he is chunked. This is where he definitely wants to recall. And Poppy showing, unless Poppy goes down here. Okay, relatively good damage onto the Oriana here. As, yeah, we're planning to leave. And I presume this is going to be the um, Maligma. Nope. Instantly just replenishes resources. Instantly Valkyrie's out of base again. Has those boots available to himself. The um, Mana Mune is stacking. We're almost there. Almost got that one. Missed one minion. Missed two minions. One minion in gold. Uh, one minion XP, two minions in gold. Bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's okay. Very solid wave clear. So we will take that gold for his own. As the Oriana is pressured away here. Let's see if this is shared gold. Nope. Okay, very good. Chovster will take that money for himself. Yeah, this is high, high level League of Legends. You can see his team, even in solo queue, is funneling him. This is definitely what you want to do with a Corky as well. This Corky is very solid here. And again, like, don't look at the stats, right? But look at look at the CS numbers. Look at uh, the items. This guy is very good in the game. And he is evolving to become an absolute monster. And those team fights are going to be rough. Ooh, solid damage here out of the big ones. 
And I'm kind of sad to see Pocky go. Um, I understand that Riot needed to do something about Koki. I understand that, um, you know, people didn't like watching it and didn't like its pattern. And uh, if I was a better player, I would probably agree with that. But um, to me, Chovy Koki is just such an iconic thing. Although Chovy Aurelian Soul is also disgusting. Very impressive as well. And we, we, we can look at that as well. Um, because I would actually be very curious on how he manages to get early advantages on Aurelian Soul. I mean, I've played Aurelian Soul before and I just don't see the tools. I'm going to be honest with you. Gotta find out. <laughs> Alright. As we are moving over the map here, regrouping with the team. As that Maligma is available here. Ash Arrow will not find the target. Alright, the the poke out of the Varus right now is very scary. Okay, Riven definitely ready to hop that wall. Yeah, Koki was baiting that one. Solid damage onto the Riven. As we're going to clear out the wave here and re take a recall. Bot lane is coming in to Chovy, so he has a little bit of time to group up here. He's pinging on the way. Yeah, getting that package back for the teleport here, ready for that dragon fight. The teleport onto the outer bot lane tower as we are moving into the fight here from the flank position. This can be a definitely a really, really big package. Yeah, package onto the Oriana instantly. And we're bombing down two people already. Running down pace under turret. Go back into your base, buddy. As that dragon is deciding the hours now. Oriana and Ash going down here to the package Galio combo. And Chovy is so confident. He is just moving to the bot lane. He will be taking that money. And that is it, huh? Yep, that is th that is the that is the Corky showing up with a big package. Lots of gold here over to Chovy, and now now it's just over, dude. Now he's so far ahead, instantly buying a Caulfield's hammer and a and a ruby crystal. Yeah, one point five k from one fight. I mean, probably, probably more, more along the lines of like 1k, I would presume. But still, very good job. And uh, we will be mirroring Eji here. Oh, looking for him actually, as the aggressive trade will come out, and Pocky just does it on his own. Just the zoning from the Galio. Galio will take that one for his own as well. And Eji going down here to the Chovster. As the flash comes out, four man FF by the enemy team. And that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.